this on April 25th. It was Saturday. I was in my room doing my assignments. I was in boss that time and um, suddenly the walls start falling off. Um, I knew it from social media. And I got a call from my friend saying that there was an earthquake in Nepal. I tried to calm everybody down, so, but the, the earthquake was really strong. Um, every, every, every communication system was dead over there and I could communicate them with Facebook at, at first. Like at least at my home we didn't have internet, so I have to communicate through like a telephone, landline telephone, and it's really hard to get contact, and especially they, they won't be living inside the house after, the, after getting that tremor. I to try to talk to my parents and my husband, but somehow the phone line wasn't working. That's when I started panicking that I couldn't talk to my family back home. Because I run toward my home, like next to Dharara, and Dharara just fell off. And like, I think 130 or I'm not sure, but like more than 200 people, they died under the Dharara. Um, but uh, everyone was psychologically affected. They were outside their home. Um, they couldn't sleep. And people, they are buried under the temple and people are trying to take them out. And I saw like everything because people, they died and the people with the blood. And there's a, everything was so scary. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. I don't even want to remember the, that time. That, there is so much of dis destruction, many houses are destroyed, many temples, many places where we used to go regularly for our coffee, for our tea. Many people have been already human trafficked, like especially children and girls, and those areas which is mostly affected is um, heavily dominated by indigenous groups who are already poor and marginalized. Basic shelter, basic requirements, many people have don't have house, and basic requirement for the shelter, for the food and clean water and other sanitation. To be really careful who will get the um, reconstruction services, who will get the support and how it will, how people will come out from those traumas and also from like physical reconstruction. So we have to be really careful on long-term planning and reconstruction. Uh, we have started a fundraising event and I would really be happy if all of us can come together and help in the fundraising events and gather some funds and send it back to Nepal. Uh, to build the city, I think people should visit Nepal. It's not Nepal is still good, it's still beautiful and will rise. So you know, people, uh, tourism should be like is, must be the best thing to support Nepal right now.